Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us in this video. Today we are going to be talking about Teams features. So I'm going to say my two favorite team features and Bobby is going to say his two favorite features. Now these are features that came out in the last few months, so pretty recent. So, um, you know, don't come at us if we don't have something in there that you like. <laughs> we are going to start off with talking about one of Bobby's favorite features, which is the Microsoft Teams plugin for Outlook. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen, but first off, uh, I want to show you guys a link. Go ahead and start sharing. So as you can see on this web link here, uh, it's really great. One of the things, the reason why I love it is how many times, right, Kaylee, have you, you've been like, where did that come from? And you're like, I don't, is that new? Uh, <laughs> this link is really great because it tells you not only when these features uh, were done, uh, but gives you a nice little description about them. So. Uh, there's been times where this has helped my sanity because I'm like, I don't remember that button being there. And you can go in and go, aha, it, they added it in February. Mm -hmm. um, so this is really nice. And it has uh, quite a bit of good information over a course of, uh, you know, time frame, even until the next year or last year, which is uh, really great because they're, they may have snuck something in and you just haven't noticed it. So definitely keep an eye on this link uh, and it will provide some really good information. Okay. <laughs> So to kind of go into the thing that I really like, first off, is this little gem right here. Okay, as you can see on my screen here, okay, uh, this picture of Kaylee, which she's pointing at, I don't know what she's pointing at, but uh, <laughs> this is in this email message. Now, when I click on this icon right here, it's going to give me this screen. So from here, what I'm able to do is I can pick whether I want to do a Teams channel, right, if I want to send this to our after hours ticket channel, which is gonna be a group of people, right, Kelly? Mm -hmm. Or I could send it directly to her in a message. And if I want, when I hit share, what it's gonna do is it's going to send it to her um, as a message with this picture and everything in her chat that mm -hmm. I have with her. It's gonna send it in a little paper airplane, just like that. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> and so as you can see here, here's just kind of a screenshot of what it looks like. The message shows up uh, in hers with this information and she can actually click on it and it will open it like in an email, which is really cool. What do you think about that one, Kaylee? Yeah, that's, that's super cool. Now, also the same thing for attachments. So this little test file that I have here, if I click on this link, um, it goes ahead and gives me the option again, uh, but then I can check this box that says include the message. And so it will actually include that text message so you can open it, which is great. Yeah, that's awesome. So, so this one's a, a cool option, but wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't there always with Teams? Um, so let me switch over to my calendar. So if I want to now with some new options, they've added in this ribbon some options here where new meeting, but you also have this new one called meet now. Uh, so when you click on this, what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and immediately create uh, a meet now option for you. So, and then um, now, as you can see here, it's, it's, I can name the meeting and I have the information like I normally would do. I could join the meeting and then from there I could start inviting people uh, inside my organization or get a link to it and send it out to them. But uh, it's really nice because you can immediately do the, the meet now option. Now you, you do have the traditional uh, new meeting option here, which has uh, been there for a while mm -hmm. uh, and you get this information. The nice thing about this is you get all of the meeting information immediately, right? Uh, whereas with, if you do it inside the Teams app and you go to the calendar and you go to schedule uh, in this location here. So in here, if you were gonna create a, a new meeting and I click on it, you see there's no meeting information. So that's the nice big difference between using it inside Outlook versus the uh, Teams application. Haley, all right, what you got? I found one of the coolest features, which was status messages. So if you click on your profile picture on the desktop, it's the top right, your mobile, it's the top left. Mm -hmm. And that will give you the option to change that status message right then and there. And it's so cool when you change your status, 
it lets all of your team members know that if they're going to send you a chat, it will show up in a little bar at the bottom and I'll insert a picture of what it looks like here. Yeah. It's so cool. And you can change the timing of when it is a status and when it is not. That is so cool. You can change, it's called a duration. So you'll be able to set that as well right in that profile picture link um, in your top right or top left hand corner. So that is a super helpful way to stay connected with your team, even when you're busy. So they yeah. know exactly what you're doing. Uh, and right. something that you can also do, and Bobby does this a lot, is if you're meeting with a specific person in your team, you can add them. So you right. can mention them in that status and it notifies them as well that he put them in his status. So that's a super cool feature, status messages, check them out um, and let us know what you think of them. <laughs> okay, so mine, we've already done a video on this, which Kaylee will have a link below or above or somewhere around uh, anywhere. Uh, but it's, it's not gonna be a surprise, it is breakout rooms, right? Right. Breakout right. rooms has been a, something that people have been calling for quite a while inside Teams, and Zoom has had in spades, but now they've added it. So now you can start doing that, and there's some interesting uh, twists that they did. What's one that you really like that they don't necessarily have in Zoom quite as well? What was that one? You, you were the one that you really liked and called out, so I thought I'd like mention that one. Yeah, sure. and the announcements are yeah. really interesting in Teams. Mm -hmm. How they do that and how you're able to um, send a little chat out to every single group without being inside the group yourself. Um, and they also break them out into chats as well, which I think is pretty interesting to keep track of those different conversations throughout the different groups. A lot of times with my team organization, we'll use those breakout rooms when we have a general get together and then we have specific uh, talk points that we want to get to. So we might separate into two groups and then we'll come back together again and then close out the meeting. Uh, what's nice, like Kaylee's saying about with the announcements is you can kind of say, hey, look, we've got 10 minutes left or we've got five minutes and we're gonna be pulling everybody back into the main group. Uh, which is really, really nice. It's, it's, uh, it's basically kind of keeping up with Zoom because Zoom really did pull ahead in that one feature, but now uh, team has caught up. So. All right, so Kaylee, what's yours? So the last one that I wanted to mention um, in this video is channel meetings. So they now have an option for you to meet now and schedule a meeting inside a channel, which yeah. is really helpful and cutting down time as well when creating a meeting. Because if you just want to create a meeting with all of those specific people, let's say there's, you know, 15, 20 people that you want to invite to that meeting, but you can have them all in this channel already. So all you have to do in the future is just create that meeting in that channel and it automatically adds and sends it to all of those people. So helpful and very useful with um, efficiency of your team and making sure that um, they're staying on task. If you're just really using Teams for just chatting, and uh, you're doing it wrong. Like Teams channels are very powerful when you consider the fact that you start linking your SharePoint libraries to them. So now you have one central repository. And what's really great is if you have this channel, for example, onboarding new clients, or you may have it for marketing, or you may have it for a new specific project you're trying to accomplish. All of those documents, all the communications would be in that channel. Uh, how many times have you seen sidebar emails with attachments flying around and, and then documents being changed on multiple desktops and then they're faring information? Teams channel solves all that. Uh, and then now you have that added feature of being able to do meet nows and those types of things. It really starts to start making that team section channel uh, shine. The last thing that I did want to mention and say, because maybe if we keep saying it, um, they will add it as a feature, which mm -hmm. is the agenda for meetings. Oh, yeah. We learned that they added that to the free version 
but we have yet to find that to people who actually pay. <laughs> and what that means <laughs> is the meetings are sectioned in a way where it only shows you your upcoming meetings, not in calendar view, but in a more formatted way where it only shows you meetings and your agenda upcoming. So I feel like that that would be useful even to people who pay. I would love to see that view um, on a day-to-day -day basis. And right. I think it would be very helpful for, for many people. So maybe, maybe add it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I, think, I think their logic is, oh, well, we have the calendar side inside Teams that you can see all of your meetings, not just Teams meetings. But what we're talking about is ex making it exclusive to a webinar Teams meeting or anything along those lines. Like, just show us the list of all Teams meetings that we need to join. And what would be even bonus points if they added, like, you know, WebEx or Zoom, you know, just basically it says, oh, these are, these appointments have content that you have to join like a Teams meeting or Zoom. And here are the list of just those. It would be really great if we had just one click that showed all of that. Well, I hope you enjoyed going through some of those. Uh, I highly suggest you click on those links and look through because there might be some features and functionalities that you have really fallen in love with that we didn't mention here. And we'd love for you to comment below about those. So until then, have a great day and we look forward to your comments. Bye.